Clarissa Ward is also in Paris tonight with new information about that missing suspect, Hayat Boumediene, and her ties to terror. For French authorities, Hayat Boumediene may hold the key to figuring out if her late partner, supermarket shooter Ahmed Koulibaly, and the Kawashi brothers, responsible for Wednesday's massacre at a satirical magazine, were part of a bigger terrorist cell in France. It is not yet known whether the men coordinated their attacks with each other, but Boumedien and the wife of Sharif Kawashi are reported to have exchanged some 500 phone calls in 2014. Boumedien, who is one of seven children, has no criminal record, but she has previously been questioned over her association with known Islamic radicals. Among them, convicted terrorist Jamal Begal, Photos show Pagal with Boumediene and Koulibaly posing with weapons in a forested area of central France. But neighbors at their Paris apartment building said they seemed normal. They weren't mean people. They said hello, goodbye. They would hold the door. I bumped into them many times. Saeed and Sharif Kouashi were also described as unremarkable by people in their communities. We met 24-year-old Fatmi, who told us that he knew Saeed from his mosque in Reim. He was pretty quiet, didn't talk very much. I saw him from time to time with his family, he said. On the outside, he seemed like a good guy, someone who stayed out of trouble. But his brother Sharif was well known to French authorities, imprisoned in 2005 for trying to join jihadis fighting against American troops in Iraq raising questions about why authorities were not following him more closely. Investigators are now racing to get a clearer picture of how these attacks were executed. But for the moment, there are more questions than answers. Clarissa Ward, CBS News, Paris.